So, in this video I want to talk about sunglasses. Why sunglasses in particular? Anything you put on your face, it's a sense of expression and it's a sense of style. Now, everyone has a different face, a different face shape and I want to go through what kind of sunglasses can you wear that suit your face? Now, what is the first thing you need to find out before you go out and try sunglasses? You need to find out what kind of face shape you have. The best thing I could really recommend is for you to ask your barber, hairdresser, or go into a sunglasses shop and ask them what kind of face shape do I have. If that doesn't work and you have no access to that kind of facility, the best thing for you to do would be to take a picture. I wouldn't recommend looking in a mirror because it's reversed. So, the very first common face shape you usually have is an oval. Now an oval is a typical face. For example, I have an oval face. The height is longer than the width and it's round. It's not really structured. Amazing news for you because pretty much any kind of sunglasses will suit your face. You can really experiment with anything. The second type of face shape you have is a round kind of face shape. Everything is curved, everything is still the same. The only difference now is that everything is in proportion. For you, the best kind of sunglasses that would suit your face are things that are square, boxed up. Not necessarily big glasses because everything is in proportion. If you have a square face shape, the best thing for you to do would be to go for oval sunglasses. Sunglasses that are more curved. Now you have the, the heart shape, or similar to the diamond shape. Now the heart shape face is usually you have a bigger forehead and a more narrow chin. The forehead distance is bigger compared to the chin. So for you, the best kind of glasses that would suit you, more angular ones, that are more contrasted, bigger frames, that stick out really. Now I will give you an example using my own face in terms of sunglasses. Okay, so if you have an oval face shape, anything would suit you is a typical face. So I'm not really going to recommend it. I have an oval face. For me personally, I don't really like to go with very, very round sunglasses. Although I have an oval face, I think they don't look as nice as square because the oval face is still curved, regardless. Um, so I tend to go for things that are more sharp and stand out more. Hence why most of my glasses right now are pretty much, not square, very squared and boxed up, but they have that kind of, what do you say, gile or history to them. I don't even know if that made sense. What I'm saying is they're not very square and they're not very, very curved. I have a few pairs to show you. So the first one, <laughs> Other aviators, they're classic, and really they would suit someone with a square face shape or an oblong face shape. Um, they could also suit someone who has a heart shaped face because they're more angled, they're not just curved. So, yeah, those would suit that kind of face shape. Now, if you have a round face shape or an oval face shape, these are really a classic kind of Ray-Bans. They're the Wayfarers. They're very good in terms of making your face look more angled rather than more curved. Usually these sunglasses suit most face shapes. They're pretty much universal. You can wear them with any outfit and still look cool. Casual, formal, it really doesn't matter. But yeah, these are the Wayfarers. So if you have an oval face shape or a round face shape, Wayfarer is a good option. Anything in that kind of style is a good option. So sometimes you want to go a little bit more trendy. Another one that would really suit the oval or round face are things that are half rimmed. For example, the classic Ray-Ban Clubmasters. Now these personally, I think, look very stylish and I think they look so cool. oval or the round face because they're square and they're not too rounded but they're still pretty sharp and last but not least if you really want to go creative we have another similar one between the Wayfarer and the Clubmasters are these ones 
they're not square but they're curved so this could I think could also suit someone who has a square face shape because they're curved from the bottom they're not square With, with the sunglasses, when you have a pair of sunglasses, um, to find out whether they're big for you or not, the best thing to do is wear them, firstly, and make sure that the glasses don't really touch your cheek, touch your cheeks when you smile. So, not like this, of course it's going to touch, but it, it's just a general normal smile. If you do this, and they really, really touch the frame, that it sinks up, they're too big for you. And usually you can you can tell whether a pair of glasses, sunglasses are big for you anyway. Um, now, really, I can sit here and I can show you examples. I mean, but I can't see your face. So I can't directly say these are perfect for you. I've given you inspiration on which sunglasses that you might like. Um, now for you, the best thing for you to do is to go out and try them. Really, you never really know unless you try them, especially with accessory and style. You never really know unless you try it. Um, but yeah, find out your face shape, try on sunglasses, and get one. End of! <laughs> I think that's pretty much the end of my video. I enjoyed making it and educating you about sunglasses because it's important in the life. No, I'm joking. Anyways, thank you for watching. Okay, bye! <laughs>